Welcome to our Create and Apply Business Pricing Rules training. Professional sellers can set business prices and quantity discounts to encourage Amazon business customers to purchase their products. Business prices are set per unit and are lower than the standard prices available to non-business customers. For example, a product might be listed at $50 for a non-business customer and at $45 for a business customer. Quantity discounts are set for bulk purchases. They offer business buyers increased savings for purchasing larger numbers of items. A product might be 10% off when an Amazon business customer purchases at least 5 and 15% off when they purchase 10 or more. You can set business prices and quantity discounts in multiple ways in Seller Central. One of the first decisions you'll make is whether you want to set static business prices or take advantage of dynamic pricing options. Static prices and discounts are entered and updated manually. They don't change until you change them, which makes them useful if you always want to offer the same pricing to Amazon business buyers. See our modules Set a Business Price or Quantity Discount and Set Business Prices and Quantity Discounts in Bulk for more information. Dynamic business prices and quantity discounts change automatically in response to changes in your standard prices. By creating and applying business pricing rules that maintain a percent difference between your business and non-business prices, you can keep the same discounts in place for Amazon business customers even while your standard prices fluctuate. For example, you might set a rule that keeps your per unit business price 5% lower than your standard price. When your product sells to non-business customers for $100 and then for $120, it will sell to Amazon business customers for $95 and then $114. Automating your business pricing in this way keeps your prices aligned. It also means you don't have to update different kinds of prices in multiple places in Seller Central. You can apply a business pricing rule to one or more products. You can also apply rules to products one by one or in bulk. You'll use the Automate Pricing tool in Seller Central each time you want to add or update a business pricing rule. In fact, we encourage you to review your B2B sales regularly. Make updates with the Automate Pricing tool whenever you think they'll be beneficial. In addition to business pricing rules, this tool can be used to create and apply standard pricing rules to your products. Professional sellers can, for example, create a rule that keeps the price for non-business customers competitive with a product's featured offer. If you'd like more information about standard pricing rules, see our module Create and Apply Standard Pricing Rules. Note, too, that the Automate Pricing tool automatically syncs your standard and business pricing rules. If you set two rules, for example, one that keeps your standard price a dollar lower than the featured offer and another that keeps your business price 5% lower than your standard price, these two rules will run parallel whenever you apply them both to the same SKU. Your non-business price will always be a dollar lower than the featured offer and your business price will always be 5% less than that competitive standard price. We offer two types of business pricing rules, catalog level and customized. Let's review the catalog level rule type first. The business catalog rule lets you set dynamic business prices for all your SKUs as a percent off your standard prices. You can also set dynamic quantity discounts as percentages off your standard prices. That makes the business catalog rule a quick and easy way to establish dynamic business pricing for every item you sell in the Amazon store. The only SKUs that aren't impacted after you create and apply a business catalog rule are those already priced as business-only offers or defined by customized business pricing rules. To create a business catalog rule, click the Setup button on the Automate Pricing homepage. Then, on the next page, leave the box checked next to replace all existing business discounts that are not managed by other business pricing rules. This confirms that you want your new business catalog rule applied to all relevant SKUs. Next, enter the percent off you want applied to your standard prices. You'll enter this percent discount as a price limit for any SKUs that don't have a minimum price set via other pricing rules. It will also automatically populate as your discounted business price for one unit below. Any pre-existing minimum prices you've already set for individual SKUs will remain in place. 
For example, you could set your business price as 10% less than your standard price. A SKU with no minimum price from other pricing rules would always use this discount as a lower pricing limit. When the standard price was $60, the business price would be $54. And when the standard price dropped to $55, the business price would still be 10% off or $49.50. But a SKU with a minimum price already set at $50 would never fall below that amount. And when the standard price dropped to $55, the business price would only drop to the $50 minimum. To set quantity discounts as part of your business catalog rule, click Add Quantity Discounts and then enter a minimum quantity that will trigger each bulk discount as well as a corresponding percent off. For example, you might offer 15% off for a purchase of at least two units. Just remember that each additional minimum quantity and percent off must be greater than the last. For example, if you offer a 15% discount for two units, you must offer a discount of more than 15% for three. Remember too that discounts apply to all quantities between pricing tiers. So if you enter a 15% discount for two units and a 20% discount for four, an order of three units will also trigger 15% off. All purchases greater than your last minimum quantity will receive your largest discount. Four units receive 20% off. Anything over four will too. As always, you can offer up to five total quantity discounts in the fields provided. When you've finished adding discounts, click the Save and Activate button. Your rule will be applied to all your relevant SKUs. You can monitor the status of its application on the Automate Pricing homepage. Now, let's review the process for creating a customized business pricing rule. We'll also review how to apply a customized business pricing rule to SKUs both one by one and in bulk. You apply this type of rule to specific SKUs rather than your entire catalog. That makes customized rules a good way to offer discounts on particular items. Start by clicking the Create a Customized Pricing Rule button on the Automate Pricing homepage. The Automate Pricing tool will then take you through three simple steps for creating a customized rule. One, choose a rule type and name. Two, select the marketplaces where you want the rule applied. Three, set the parameters for your rule or the percent discounts you'll be offering Amazon business customers. In step one, use the dropdown to select business featured offer or business price and quantity discounts as your rule type. A business featured offer rule lets you set a dynamic business price below, at, or above the featured offer price, which was previously called the buy box price. You can also set dynamic quantity discounts below, at, or above the featured offer of respective quantities. A business price and quantity discounts rule lets you set a dynamic business price as a percent off your standard price. You can also set dynamic quantity discounts as percentages off your standard price. This rule is similar to the business catalog rule, but is created as a customized rule instead so that it can be applied to specific SKUs rather than your whole catalog. After selecting a rule type, enter a name for your rule in the space below to help you identify it later. A short descriptive title usually works best. For example, 5% off business price. After entering a name, click the Proceed to Marketplaces selection button. In step two, select the stores where you want the rule applied. Each Amazon store where you list will be available. Check the boxes to the left to make your selections, then click the Save and Continue to Select Rule Parameters button. Finally, in step three, set your rule parameters. We'll review this step first for a business featured offer rule, then for a business price and quantity discounts rule. For a business featured offer rule, start by selecting whether you want to stay below or above the featured offer price or match it. If you stay below or above, enter the amount to the right. Next, select the type of offers you want the rule to compare your offer with. You can choose to compare to all offers of the same ASIN and condition, or you can select to compare only to offers with the same fulfillment method, only to offers that are also sold by third-party sellers, or both. If you just want to set a competitive business price for sales of a single unit, you can then click the Save This Rule button to finish and create your business pricing rule. To set quantity discounts as part of your business pricing rule, enter a minimum quantity that will trigger your first bulk discount as well as a corresponding percent off. 
Click Add Quantity Discount Tier to add more tiers one at a time. When you've finished adding tiers to your customized business pricing rule, click the Save This Rule button. For a business price and quantity discounts rule, start by entering the percent discount you want to offer business customers for buying a single unit. This will establish your business price. Enter a percent off in the space provided. You can also enter zero here if you want your standard and business prices to be the same. This can be a good option if you only want to offer business customers quantity discounts for buying in bulk. To set quantity discounts as part of your business pricing rule, click Add Quantity Discount Tier and then enter a minimum quantity that will trigger the bulk discount as well as a corresponding percent off. To finish and create your customized business pricing rule, click the Save This Rule button at the bottom of the screen. We recommend reading the rule summary to make sure everything looks right. Once you've created a customized pricing rule, it will be listed on your Automate Pricing page. After creating either type of customized business pricing rule, you can apply it to a single SKU or to multiple SKUs in your inventory. Click the Proceed to SKU Selection button to get started. If you want to apply your rule to SKUs one by one, select a SKU on the Manage SKUs page. If necessary, you can search for a SKU using the search bar at the top by entering a product ID, GTIN, ASIN, SKU, or product name. You can also click the tabs below the search bar to filter and browse. Once you've located the SKU you want to apply your pricing rule to, set a minimum price for it using the field provided. This will ensure that your business pricing rule isn't applied past the lowest price at which you want to sell. You can set a maximum price to keep the application of your business prices below a certain cap. Although it's optional, a maximum price can help avoid inflated pricing and maintain customer trust. If you don't set a maximum price yourself, we'll protect customer trust on your behalf by ensuring that your offers are not priced significantly higher than recent prices for the same product. After selecting a SKU and entering a minimum price and any maximum price, click the arrow next to the Take Action button and select the name of the business pricing rule you want to apply. Then select Start Repricing from the pop-up to apply it to your product. You can repeat this process for as many SKUs as you like. Professional sellers can also apply customized business pricing rules in bulk using a spreadsheet or automate pricing file. If you manage a large inventory for Amazon business customers, this advanced process can save you time, especially if you regularly update your customized business pricing rules. Start by creating your customized business pricing rules just as we reviewed them. Then, after clicking the Proceed to SKU Selection button and landing on the Manage SKUs page, click the Manage SKUs via File Upload button. This will bring you to the Manage SKUs in bulk via Download and Upload Files page. On the Download Center tab, select the store where you want your pricing rules applied from the drop-down. Then select Blank File as your file type. Be sure not to leave pre-populated file defaulted, as this file type does not currently support business pricing rules. The filter SKUs by, sort by, and select file size dropdowns will be automatically defaulted and grayed out for you. You can simply click the Download Automate Pricing File button to generate your blank template. Once generated, save your template by selecting either Text Tab Delimited or Star.txt from the File Type dropdown. Consider adding a date to the file name to keep a record of your work. For example, Automate Pricing 72821. That will make it easier to update pricing information later. When you open your template, you'll see multiple tabs. Add business pricing information to the Automate Pricing Template tab. The Instructions, Data Definitions, and Sample tabs provide information and guidance. Start by reviewing the Instructions tab, which explains in detail how to use the Automate Pricing template. It's worth reading this all the way through, especially the first time you apply pricing rules in bulk. The Data Definitions tab defines each attribute within your file. If you're unsure how to complete an attribute column, refer to this tab for both a definition and example. The Sample tab provides several sample pricing rows for your reference. Take a look if you'd like to see in detail how your template file should appear when it's completed. Back on the Automate Pricing Template tab, enter a SKU in the SKU column for each product you want to apply a business pricing rule to. 
Next, enter the minimum price you want a product to sell for in the Minimum Seller Allowed Price column. This required field prevents your business rule from pricing your product below the lowest price at which you're comfortable selling. Make sure you enter the amount without a dollar sign. If you want to set a maximum price for a product, enter it in the Maximum Seller Allowed Price column. Make sure you enter this amount without a dollar sign, too. Next, enter the country and currency code for the store where you want your pricing rule applied. Country codes are two letters and currency codes are three. Check the Data Definitions tab if you're unsure about either. To apply a business pricing rule to a SKU in more than one store, use separate rows for each country and currency code pairing. After entering your product and pricing data, you'll enter information about the pricing rules you want applied to your SKUs. If you only want to apply a customized business pricing rule to a given SKU, leave the rule name and rule action columns blank, there for setting a standard pricing rule. You'll make entries in the business rule name and business rule action columns only. If you want to apply both customized business and standard pricing rules to a SKU, use all four columns. In the Rule Name columns, enter the name of the rule you want applied to the SKU. Enter this exactly as it appears in Seller Central. If necessary, you can copy and paste a name from your Automate Pricing page. Finally, enter Start in the Rule Action columns to assign pricing rules. When you finish adding information to your Automate Pricing template, make sure you save your changes as either a text tab delimited or star.txt file type. We also recommend keeping a copy for your records. You're now ready to upload your file to Seller Central. Click the Upload Center tab on the Manage SKUs in Bulk via Download and Upload Files page. Then browse for your file and click the Upload Automate Pricing button. The status of your upload will appear below. For more information and full instructions for Automate Pricing file uploads, search Seller Central for our Manage SKUs using the Automate Pricing File Help page. This concludes our Create and Apply Business Pricing Rules training. Business pricing rules can be a great way to keep up with your Amazon business customers. They're also useful for streamlining and coordinating your pricing efforts. We encourage you to give the business features in the Automate Pricing Tool a try. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon Store!